Hey guys, that's Bill Gamer 360. Welcome back to Crash of the Titans walkthrough. And here we're gonna. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna finish up the first level and do hop. Oh yeah, and there's also this one move I almost forgot to explain. Press or hold the Y button to uh, do that thing. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Wonder him. Throwing there we dark. Go. You don't actually need to charge it in order to defeat him. You just gotta use it on him. There you go. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry to say it. Wait a minute, hold on, how much is that? Okay, that's kind of strange, it was, I think, 25,000 gold? I mean, excuse me, uh, Mojo. I'm playing a bit of Blinks 2. About four hours, I mean, uh, you know, it's time, so, yeah. I mean, not, like, right now, but, you know. Well, like, not so long ago, I was playing some Blinks 2, and, yeah. I use that gold thing, yes, especially when you can find it everywhere. At least it's time sweepers. Because there's, you know, the third level where you can get so much. Thanks to the. Oh yeah, old school. This is a cool move. Basically, you spin the thumb stick and you press the X button at least a certain amount of times, and there you go. However, it's limited until you can get upgrades. Well, there are upgrades for it in uh, the five moves. You can all five. Moves. Yeah, it's unlimited spinning, which will help a lot, like literally a lot. And I was maybe thinking that, for, like you know, the, like before I do a few other videos, I was actually gonna, like you know, replay some levels that we've already replayed. You know, and just grind on some mojo to get some more moves unlocked, and you know. Or just might just do some mojo rooms, and you can't get too much mojo out of it, but yeah. Our one big problem about this game is you can't, like, save the whole levels in the case game freeze or something like that. And then all you gotta do is play the Wii version, but... I like this version most. Okay, that thing is still locked up in its cage. And, yeah, and those enemies are making sure that he doesn't get out. The way he can even... Oh, so there you go. But they're trying to break it open so they can, like, destroy it. They want to burn it. Oh my god, that would be just horrible. Of course, it's been fighting evil for a long time, like it said. Are you kidding me? Okay, here we go. This item is actually pretty good. Wait, are, is that all the enemies? Are you kidding? Okay, I'll just explain this. Press the X or Y button while uh, using one of these, and you can do this. And that lets you uh, stun any enemy in one hit. So as soon as all those enemies are gone, we just walk over there and... Yeah. There you go. But I want to make sure... 
sure I got all of it. Wait, what? Oh, I can't do it yet. Thank you, Crash. My powers were useless against them. Of course they were. We're stuck in a Dark cage. magic is behind these creatures. Strange things are afoot. Uh huh. Yes, I know I don't have feet. Let's just go already. <laughs> Crash. Hold the right trigger to use me to block enemy attack. <laughs> That's my face, though. So go easy. Charging to the front. The enemy is disengagifying. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now here's what's really cool. Oh, whoops! Darn it, I did the wrong move. How can that even be possible? Okay, there- Wow, well, I just- I can't believe that. I just realized that you can still do a spin move, even with a free jack on. I never knew you could actually do that. Wow. That is interesting. I just discovered that. Right there. Just right there. Press and hold the uh, uh, the Y button to break an enemy's block. That is true. Oh boy. This is part here. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to explain why this is my favorite version of the game. It's because you get rewards. And it has the most decent controls. Because I'm PS2, you know. Oh yeah, the uh, farm stick is, you know, in a, you know, lesser convenient spot. You know, where you put your thumb. Because yeah, I played a lot of GameCube and Xbox and Xbox 60. Oh crap, I'm screwed. Oh, okay, never mind. At least he was stupid enough to not even attack me. Alright, that was easy. Never mind. Okay, that was a cool face on Crash right there. So it looks like someone's been mean. He's been scratching the floor. Not being nice. But anyways, uh, let's continue. Oh. Please don't tell me I missed any. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I don't miss any because I'm tired of seeing those locked ones, you know. Sign an enemy and press B button. Put an enemy and press the B button to jack onto it. Press the B button again to unjack it. Which means we jump off it like so. Although we can also stand in the air for some reason. Crash. Press the Y button or hold the Y button to charge press the attack, attack for more. extra wallop. Press and hold uh, for block breaker. Uh, y uh, or press and hold Y. The more you hold it, uh, the longer you hold it, the uh, more it charges, so the more powerful it'll be. Like that. Or these things are just gone in just a single hit. Press the A button, you can do this. What I said, free jack. Like, if I use this on this enemy, like when he wasn't, uh, you know, ready for me to jack onto him, then yeah, it would just be a single hit to take him. Okay. Move on yet? Nope. In fact, if you collect those things, oh, perfect. It's a good example. If you collect one of those things while the thing was charging up, then it'll fill it up all the way, no matter how low it is. Free jacks. You pick those up when you, uh, you're running for it. Uh, I mean, when you, uh, when you just use your special attack and, you know, you get it. If it's not fully charged yet, then you'll know, uh, charge up the rest of it, no matter how much. I mean, no matter how low it is, it's an automatic refill. Wait, can I check the uh, missions for this level? Also, I don't think this will be a 100% walkthrough because that would take too long to do. So, I mean, I'll try to get as much as I can get, you know. 
Oh yeah, and I completely forgot about explaining the spy bots, so it's too much of the whole color thing and all the other crap I was talking about. There are three of these in each level, you just draw three of them, and then, yeah, there you go. You get stuff. And yeah, if an enemy is like this for way too long, then it goes away. Hold on a second, I actually want to check something. So yeah, could you give me guys a like? Uh, could you guys give me a minute? Okay, here they are. No, not Pac-Man: Ghost Adventures. That show stuck. Uh, that show sucks, and I can't delete the rewards from that. Okay. Okay, I can't find out more about it, but yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I know that one. That one's completing every mojo room. Oh wait, no, the, the latest ones are for... This is just for at least getting one unlocked. This one's for getting all of them. This is for getting ten. And yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna spell anything, but yeah. I don't wanna spell anything, but get it. Okay, why are the things so moving? On a free 60 game, everything would freeze. Man, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, yes. Original Xbox games, things would still be, you know, moving. Like we just do this in the middle of the level before pausing. You know. Rather bad. Yeah. You get it. Anyways. Oh boy. Now here's the test right here. Not the test for the other. Whoa, wait, just wait. Would you stop hitting me? Oh, the white woman's the only one I didn't hit. I can only do one because I lost my those little losers. They are choosers, they're not wanting to be losers. I have many maps, well, there we go. There's at least 65 Might as well speed the other ones because I can. And here's a good reason why these things keep reoccurring in case you blow it up. So you know, you know, it's stuck. It's a spot. Also, I'm not gonna fish just yet. Although I also wanna use that cube thing. And get some more mojo from these enemies in one second. You know, whatever, we can attack. These guys are wrong. I'm not. You know, it's not like I don't want to lose game. So I can get the thing fully charged. Another cool thing about this version, or at least, yeah, this version of the PS2 version, I'm just supposed to talk about this one, is that you just have to press one button to use a special attack. And, like, in the Wii version, you have to do, like, Specific motions with your weird mode to yeah. And that's how you do that. There you go. Okay, now yeah, let's get out of here. Is there a gold apple on the other side? You see a golden apple that basically is one extra life and there you go. So there's one cool thing you can do with the shield. You know, hold the right trigger and use it at the yeah. You can move the control second so direction, you can you know, hold it back, obviously you go back. Hold it forward, you go forward. Go to the left, you go to the left, head to the right. Okay. And then, okay. Hold on a second. And then to the right, you go to the right. Okay, let's just stop goofing around and win this level. Alright, level one completed. And 100%. Did I? Oh, nope. Eh, not bad. Silver. Eh, I don't care. And the combo king is basically, it's. It's basically the uh, combo you need to get. Like you need to get at least 15 more for this level. Certain levels need more. And, you know, 
just gotta get at least to that much on a combo at least once. At least once. Also, it's good enough. Sound effects are so strange. Also, we can continue the story by pressing the Y button, but we're not gonna do that now because I am going to stop the video. Alarm clock is so uh, uh, four minutes late. Anyways, uh, so, yep. See you guys for when we do the next level.